Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. I know it's been a little while, but today I'm excited to be doing something uh, a little bit new. Uh, what I've done is I have recorded the in-ear mixes of the band that played here on the stage uh, this past Sunday, and I have put it all together, um, one mix after the other, and I'm gonna be reacting to the video, uh, there's some footage of them playing, as well as um, the in-ear mixes, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna listen through uh, the four mixes, so it's drums, bass, electric, and piano. We're going to listen to those mixes, and we're just going to, yeah, we're going to listen to what they uh, put in their ears, and I'm going to give a little bit of feedback and give my thoughts uh, on each of their mixes. So uh, let's jump in, and I'll uh, I'll pause the video uh, throughout and give my thoughts. So I think first up is electric. Let's go. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Refrain. Refrain. Okay, so first up, what I can hear in this mix is that there is not a lot of vocal. Uh, it's pretty much just uh, guitar and click uh, and a little bit of other stuff. I think this is a really good approach uh, if you're a musician. The vocal bleed from the microphones or the drums and what's happening in the room can be uh, quite a lot when you have four vocalists and you have all of them, uh, all of their signals quite loud in your mix. So I think Andrew, who's playing here, has done a great job just to isolate himself and click, and he's using the guide from the track to know uh, where he is in the song with a little bit of vocal, just so you can hear uh, what the worship leader Rick uh, is doing with the song. So let's carry on listening. Verse one, drums end. Again, uh, the drums came in for that section. Not a lot of drums in his mix. Uh, he's probably hearing uh, most of it ambiently. Uh, he's not creating a mix that is for uh, his own listening pleasure. He's creating a mix that allows him to hear exactly where he is uh, and not get distracted. So not a lot of drums in his mix. He could probably use a little bit of kick and snare uh, just for some feel. But uh, other than that, still sounding great. Okay, so here we've uh, switched over to the drum mix. Uh, this is Jared, who is playing, a good friend of mine. Uh, so yeah, let's go through and listen to his mix. Okay, so straight up I'm hearing the exact same thing as Andrew. Not a lot of vocal, just a bit of the worship leader. Enough to hear where they're at, but getting most of his guides probably from Andrew, who's MDing the click and the guide track, and then he has a bit of himself uh, to hear what he's actually playing. Chorus one, drums. Okay, so there you heard the MD mark uh, where Andrew was giving the cue to have drums only. That's great. He doesn't necessarily need to hear Rick's vocal uh, to know where he is in the song. He's getting the cues uh, from the MD. And I think now we're going to go in and listen to the uh, bass portion of this video. Break. Turn around. Drums in. Okay, so this mix has got a lot more vocals in it than everyone else. You can hear a lot more of the second worship leader and the other uh, backing vocalists. And immediately, if you listen, there's a bunch more uh, acoustic drum noise uh, and other stage noise introduced into this mix. So it obviously wasn't a problem for Esther, who was playing. She probably needs more crowd feel uh, in her mix to make her happy. Uh, but so far, that's that's my first reaction to that. Yes. 
again, you heard Andrew call for the hits there. Um, she's using that just to cue the musical parts of her song. Anyone who's on stage, any musician should really have uh, the MD in their, in their ears. It's kind of a non-negotiable. Okay, and here I can hear we've switched over to the keys mix. Uh, so let's give that a listen. So immediately a lot of keys in this mix. Obviously it's her instrument she's playing. She wants to hear it. Uh, this is the first mix where I've heard a bit of acoustic guitar. She's obviously using that just to check where she uh, is in terms of musicality. Is she uh, playing along with the right chords? So she's following Rick's uh, acoustic guitar for this mix. So there you heard uh, Inja Bulo, the other worship leader, uh, you heard her talking about, oh, we're actually in chorus one. So the video that you're seeing here doesn't actually correlate to the set uh, that I recorded. I recorded the rehearsal. So uh, in the rehearsal, they were still trying to figure out this new song. So that's why you heard her calling that. That wouldn't actually happen in a Sunday service. Uh, the audio and the video is not actually from the same uh, session. It's just lined up to the track. Uh, but yeah, so far, um, I can hear there's a lot more uh, vocals in this mix again uh, and not a lot of drums again in this mix so she's kind of got herself a little bit of worship a little bit of uh, worship leader a little bit of another uh, instrument which is rick's guitar uh, to follow and uh, she's got obviously your click and your md you heard a couple of calls there from andrew during uh, this last portion another thing to note here is that she is using uh, again Nunja Bulo, the uh, other worship leader, she's using her vocal as her lead as opposed to uh, Rick's vocal. This is totally a choice uh, for the musician. It doesn't really matter which worship leader uh, you follow. Um, and she's just chosen to, to follow a different worship leader than the majority of the other musicians. Okay, and there you have it. That's the end of the video. Uh, this was my first real uh, listen through. I've been editing this video together, but I haven't really been given much, uh, much thought or concern to the actual mixes. Um, yeah, for me, that is, uh, those are some great mixes. I think the main thing that I always tell guys when doing any mixes is make sure you can hear yourself, make sure you can hear some sort of timing element, which will always be the click. Uh, actually, a comment I had on the bass mix is she didn't have a bunch of click in there, but she had a lot more hi-hats and click, and that's obviously where she was following her timing from. So whether it's drums or click, just make sure you have some sort of timing element, and then you always need to have a pitch element for you to pitch towards if you're a vocalist, or as a musician, make sure you have one or two other instruments in there just to make sure uh, you're playing all the right parts together. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, uh, please drop a comment below and let me know what you thought about it. If you want to see me do more of these reaction type uh, videos, I'd be happy to do that. But for now, that's me. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.